so good morning everyone so last uh, two of my lecture you get an idea about to extraction of the water body and we also understand how to extract the uh, the flooded area but now today we will going to understand something which uh, will help us to understand to extract or you can say enhancing the urban area okay so one thing you just understand that urban area is very sensitive with the coherence okay so coherence value how we will going to calculate so usually over the slc product you will get both the amplitude and phase informations from the phase informations we usually calculate the coherence okay and the coherence value uh, to calculate the coherence value you require at least two date image information so earlier uh, in my slc lecture you are already our about how we are actually imported that particular uh, slc uh, data product so i am just going to show you after that okay like how, how after the orbital uh, corrections uh, that data corrected data that is already imported data okay so that i am going to take it inside uh, this snp again and then we will try to process the coherence okay so that is our main objective today so i have this two data under this so i'm just going to select that data and you just see here uh, i have these two informations of this two date so this is this is the first one and i think uh, this is the second one okay so this is the two okay it is not simultaneously we have to select i'm not able to select simultaneously okay so one is this one orbital and uh, you can take this okay it is taking so full so better is you can take one by one okay so i'm just taking this is the first one first date image you just see split a bit okay and the second one will be the next date is this one so we have to select one by one so that will be the better option i think okay so this is the first image we just added now we can add it for the second image so this is the first one and this is the orbital data for the second one or better i will understand from this okay this is the orbital data for the second okay so not the split one the split and orbit okay orbital correction is already done for this image so you just see there is a different uh, dates this date is the different than this so let's open this first okay so now we will going to uh, start the next process now we are going to do top debust multi looking and terrain corrections of the coherence image okay so we will going to do that so after the core registration process okay we will going to calculate that then only we will come with all these steps so let's start so first what we will going to do that is we will go to the radar okay so now we can go to the core registrations so under the core registrations we have sentinel top score registrations and then we can go for sentinel one back geocoding process okay so let's click on that now we are going to use this add button to add this particular two date image which i want for the analysis okay so now you just see under this we have the uh, back geocoding process so leave it everything will be the same okay so now only one thing you need to change is under this you have to change the name of this particular uh, place okay so uh, first you can i can change this uh, directory otherwise it will make confuse so that's why i just need to change the directory of this so i can go to the c drive and i am going to save all this data uh, under suppose stars this is coherence okay so this i am just going to save all my data okay and one more thing which you have to do that is uh, see here it is a two date image so there is no meaning of this type of dates so you remove the dates only you just make it the sensor informations and the path okay so that is only required for this particular process okay so simply you can click on the run and let's wait for the output so now this output is ready okay so let's close it and select the output okay you just see the outputs are ready so you just select the outputs and now you can go for the next further process to estimate the coherence value okay so from where you will get the coherence value you can go to the radar okay so then go to the interferometric okay and then from the products you can go and select the coherence estimation 
okay so now you just see here you should be very careful you have to select the proper input for the cluster stack and then the processing parameter okay so everything will be same so no need to change anything there so you can simply uh, run this process and let's wait for the output okay so let's start the output and wait for the results so let's see the output and is this this coherence uh, output is came so just expand it go to the bands and see the vv i'm just going to select this vv bands so let's see the output of this yeah so now you just see you can able to see this is the actually the bangalore city this is a bangalore city data we just opened so this is for the vv and this is for the VH okay so this is VH and this is VV both bands you can able to see it here but we need to do as you see we have the lines so we have to go to the all those processes for the debusting splits and then you know, the geometry correction process so that we will get a good image to understand okay so let's do the other steps to get the proper output of the coherence so let's go for the next step so as we know now we have to do the debust uh, then uh, debusting we have to do then we have to do the multi locking and then we have to go for the geometric correction process okay so these are the processes we all know about it because we did so many times so let's uh, start with uh, the the next steps which we're going to so let's uh, start to red hard okay so then go to sentinel node tops then sentinel one tops debust okay so this is the sentinel one tops debust which you have to do now to removing that particular lines which is coming in between the images okay so there's a kind kind some kind of uh, the correction process which is uh, need to uh, do processing parameter i if you want for the single then you can select one i just taking for the for this particular purpose both the polarizations that's not an issue okay so let's see the output and get an idea on that okay how this lines are cleared after this debusting technique so let's wait for the output so now you see uh, this is a new output came okay so what we need to do we just need to expand it and we will check the lines are gone or not so if you see after debusting the lines which is coming in between now it is uh, not coming perfectly so, so if you want to compare with the before so then definitely you can go and check so this is the lines which is coming before but now uh, after this correction okay so now this no lines is coming so uh, now uh, we can move for the next steps okay so that is for the the multi looking data correction process okay so uh, you have to go to this for the radar sar utility and then go for the multi looking okay so multi looking you have to very careful that you have to select the proper output see for my case i am selecting the 4 so that's why it is a default selection minus of 4 so you have to select the fifth output which is your last output okay so then processing parameter it will be fine you can create a, a range or uh, azimuth resolutions 4 and 1 okay so i am i'm leaving it as a default for this particular purpose okay so let's run the output and just wait for the results okay so uh, now you see this is my output okay so this is the this is the process is run properly okay so i'm just going to expand it okay and you just see here uh, this is the output which is generated now so after multi looking the square pixel is created so that's why you will get this type of squared information so otherwise it is stretched information so you usually get it for that but now the most important steps is required that is the geometry correction so after that you will get the proper output of the coherence image okay so for that you have to go to radar geometric terrain corrections okay and range doppler terrain corrections that is the things you have to do so you have to select the proper output as you see last one i selected so that's why it is selected by default here so processing parameters i will make it so by default okay so just go to uh, uh, this place and if you see the name it is it should be terrain corrected so to see we are actually going to take okay so let's run and just wait to see for the output so now you just see the output is ready okay so if you go uh, in this okay and you just check the output so as i told you so this is your final output so if you just double click on this so now you see the coherence image the final coherence image where you can get to see the urban area in a very nice way 
okay so this is a kind of uh, you can say the image targeting techniques which we applied okay to highlight the urban area and urban area is actually very sensitive uh, with this particular coherence image if there is a certain change under the urban area so that also you can very easily identify by the coherence image okay so there is a further process uh, to extracting the urban area if you want some other classes definitely we will going to discuss about that okay so i hope you enjoy this particular techniques to extract the urban area okay so thank you thank you everyone so please stay with my channel and uh, uh, if you want to learn the next procedure to how to extract the urban area from this particular pixel, uh, pixel value let us say backscattering value which we have so how we will going to target that and how we will extract it okay so definitely i will going to show you so i just want uh, the request okay so please give you your comments so you want to see how to extract this uh, particular uh, the scattering value of this urban area thank you all thank you very much